Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today, let me show you how to post a photo to Instagram using your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So posting to Instagram on your phone is easy. You just go to the Instagram app and then you can take a picture or select one from your library and post it. You can also do it from the Photos app on your iPhone. You can share to Instagram. But on your Mac it's a little more difficult. There used to be third party apps that allowed you to upload directly to Instagram but they don't work anymore because Instagram doesn't support those. You can also use some expensive scheduling tools that social media experts use. But you think you could just do it directly to Instagram, right? I mean here I am at my Instagram account and there should be a way for me to upload a photo. It would be an easy button to find here but it's not here. It just doesn't exist. There's no way to do it. I can view my account. I can view other people's photos but I can't upload a new one from my Mac. That's especially annoying if you're editing images, adding text to them, doing various things on your Mac. In order to get them to Instagram you have to save them out to your photo library then go to your iPhone and then upload them from there. But there is a way to do it here on your Mac using Safari. You have to trick Instagram into thinking your Mac's an iPhone. The way to do this is to go to Safari and then Preferences and then go to Advanced. Then click Show Develop Menu in Menu Bar. So this is a special menu of developer commands. If you're not a developer you really don't need this. But there is one thing here that will help us. If you go to User Agent, the User Agent is a little piece of text that your browser sends to the server to tell it what type of browser it is. In this case it's the default which is Safari for Mac 13.1. But I could change that and say no, tell the servers that I'm actually an iPhone. If you change that to iPhone then this will reload and Instagram's website thinks you're an iPhone. So it gives you the iPhone version of the website. And notice what you get. At the bottom you get the plus button there and you can click that to then select an image, just any file, and upload that to Instagram. I'll do that for this image here. And you can see it doesn't look super pretty here. It fills the screen. It kind of looks a little better if I shrink the browser window to be kind of the format of an iPhone. So something like that. And now it looks a little bit more like we're used to. Now you can go to Filter here and add a filter to it if you wanted to. You can go to Edit here. You can click Next and then you could write a caption. You could add a location if you want. You could tag people and then you could hit Share and it will share it out. And then when you're done you could just go to Develop, go to User Agent, switch back to Default. It will reload the page. I can stretch it back here and I could see Instagram as you normally would see it in your browser on your Mac. Now also I should add if you want to upload from your photo library you can click that same button there and then in the left side you should see under Media your photos. Click that and it should give you access to your photo library. So you can look at albums and different parts of your photo library and double click to select a photo from there and then upload it without having to create a file first. So that's really all there is to it. It's pretty quick and straightforward. It's just a couple quick extra steps. takes a few more seconds and it's much more convenient sometimes to upload a photo from your Mac than it is to transfer it to your iPhone first. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the Subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.